Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we are actually running Windows 10 full no launcher, no bullcrap on the Surface Duo 1. Now, what's really cool about this is you can run Windows 10, Windows 11, anything you want because all this is, is a remote desktop of my actual desktop. So for example, as you guys see on the screen right here, you have the mouse that I'm kind of just moving around, that you can connect this to a keyboard, connect this to a wireless, you know, Bluetooth uh, mouse, and you can really go even more advanced with this in all honesty, and actually turn this device into a desktop. But just taking a look at this real fast, you guys can see I go and open up an application, bam, I literally, this is my actual computer. Like, the most simplest form, guys, is that remote desktop, what it lets you be able to do is actually connect to your PC and be able to actually go ahead and control your PC. So everything I would do on my PC is actually on this device right here, which is absolutely awesome. Now, you need your PC to be on in order to connect to this. And we saw the similar type concept when it came to... Of course, um, what's it called? When it came to VR headsets, you can also do a remote PC on the VR headsets. But the cool thing about this, and like I said before, what I really like, is the ability to actually go ahead and open up, let's say, like a Microsoft Word document, right? Because you can actually go ahead and start using a Word document on here, maybe typing a paper out, maybe doing some things will work on this item, well, let's say you're downstairs or wherever you might be, you can always have, you know, as you can see right here, I open up a Word document, you can always have, you know, a computer on you without being tethered to having to sit at your computer and actually do, you know, and always be on your computer. So it's just a really, really cool concept. Now, like I said, this is why I think everyone's so excited about the even the idea of running Windows 11 on this Surface Duo 2. Because of the fact that if they can do that, you could literally not even have to worry about having your computer. You could literally just have this at all times and never have to go ahead and do use a computer. So as you guys can see, if I say, hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna suck at um text, I mean um typing here, but subscribe to me. I did not use any spaces there, and I kind of completely butchered the English language there. Subscribe to me. And you can see if, like, for example, once you start getting used to this keyboard, I can actually get used to this, bam, type of paper. You can have a wireless keyboard set up. So, for example, if you wanted to, you could put this in tent mode, have it right in front of you, right? Have a wireless keyboard and mouse. I don't know, go wherever you want. There's no limitations. And the reason why I say that is because as long as your PC is on, you can go anywhere you want. All you're connecting to with the remote desktop application is you're using your login for your PC and your IP address, which is, of course, associated to your PC. So that means, let's say you're at school or you're at work, you can literally just bring this up, and as long as your PC is on, you can connect to it and have no issue at all. Now, this does not just work for desktop PCs. It's also laptops. And again, like I said before, when I'm in college, I told you guys before, I used to carry around my MacBook. It's a 15-inch display MacBook. I have no issue with that, but the issue is, is that um, when you do go ahead and carry that around, it's not something you can put in your pocket. You have to have that in a backpack. You have to ha carry it on you at all times. And it's not easy to kind of just walk around places with a big MacBook on you, right? And if you get the 16 inch, it's even more of an issue. So what this gives you is, again, like I said, the ability to have a cell phone and a computer at the exact same time. And I think not enough people really are talking about this because the uh, limitation, the unlimited limitations of this is actually quite amazing. So like I said before, guys, if you want to, it's literally a desktop. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me take away the keyboard. You can also zoom in if you want to. Uh, if you need to zoom into a certain area or a certain thing, you can zoom in, which is absolutely awesome. But I'm not even kidding, guys. Watch this. I am literally loading Sony Vegas 13 on my phone here, on my Surface Duo. And I could go ahead and actually, if I wanted to edit a video, open a video and edit it on my Surface Duo while I'm watching TV downstairs. I don't have to be in my room tethered to something. I know you're going to say you can use a laptop for this. I get that. 
I understand. But can you put a laptop in your pocket? I didn't think so. So you have Sony Vegas. Um, let me go ahead and get out of that. Oh, I've got. I keep forgetting. You have to go ahead and if you're gonna, if you are going to not use a keyboard and mouse, you have to go ahead and actually move the mouse yourself. Which I mean, it's such a small little issue. It's not even a big deal, but that is something. Uh, also, Photoshop, same thing. Let's open up Photoshop. Let's pull Photoshop on the Surface Duo while using a desktop version of it, because this is act like I said before, a desktop. Like, this is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy. And I was just looking at this online. And I was like, how has no one made a video on this? How has no one really went in depth with this? Because the amount of endless possibilities. And this is what gets me even more excited about the Surface Duo 2. Because we know it's going to probably come out with Android 11, right? It's not going to come out Windows 11. Which does actually suck. Because we really would love to see Windows 11 on this device and actually be able to, you know, use Windows 11 and actually have a more native version. Because this, again, like I said, is connected to my PC. But if you could have a more native version of this and actually have more of a connected, uh, like, you know, just once you get out of the box, it's automatically set up for Windows 11. It's automatically set up for everything. That would be absolutely amazing. And I don't know what, honestly, this is not even Surface Zero. Um, Photoshop always lags for me. I don't know why. I think I have to update it. It's probably because I have to update it. Because it, it always lags for me. You guys saw how fast Sony Vegas opened. It's it's always Photoshop. I think I think the reason why is because I have like 17,000 different images. I never close out of my images in Photoshop. Um, so that's probably why. Um... Let's see. I think. Here we go. So if you want to, you just, it literally just like double click on it, something to go ahead and close it. It's the same thing as normal. Uh, let's open up Adobe Premiere then. Let's see Adobe Premiere. Let's open up that. That never has an issue for me. It's always Photoshop. It's because whenever I open it up, I have to like open up like 17 billion different files. Um, I just got to remind myself. Maybe I'll remind myself after this video to go into Photoshop and actually close crap because I never do. Um, right, let's see if this actually opens up. I think Photoshop's going to kind of bog it down just because that's not... Oh, there we go. Finally, it opened. It opened the second I try to close it. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, Photoshop, absolutely. I need to start closing off my applications and stuff like that because I never do and ends up being just a mess. I think Premiere, Premiere is not opening because of that. Okay. So, like I said, it's going to, there we go. So, now I have my Photoshop actually opening, and I can actually go ahead and edit my photos. Do whatever I need with my photos. I can edit my videos from this device. This is absolutely awesome. And you actually, it's not a cool thing is all notifications, like sounds and everything like that. And if you're playing a video, it will come through this device. I know it's such a small feature, but it's such a cool thing. It's such a cool concept. So like I said before, as you guys can see, I literally have Photoshop, everything I need from Photoshop. And I recommend if you are doing this, probably use a wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, but again, you don't have to. It's a whole premise is you don't have to, right? Because like you might not be, you might be out getting some coffee. Starbucks, maybe you're enjoying your day. Maybe you'd have a day off, right? And you don't have a keyboard and mouse. You don't have to have one. I just recommend doing it, having it. Okay, I don't know why uh, Adobe's not uh, going ahead and opening up. I think it's still because of Photoshop. It's definitely probably still because of Photoshop, something going on with Photoshop. But, like, for example, let's see if I can get this to actually work. Like I said, I think it's just kind of buggy right now. Which Photoshop always is. As you guys saw, I have like 17 billion things open. Okay, it's going to be a little buggy right now. I'm probably not going to be able to do much on Photoshop. And then Adobe Premiere, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. Because I think it's not opening because of Photoshop. I probably shouldn't have opened up Photoshop. In all honesty, because that's like... <laughs> it's a cool example, but it's honestly like my worst application to open up. I'm always having way too much stuff going on in Photoshop. That's what happens. We have four different YouTube channels. You guys, not checked all my four YouTube channels. Fancy Truck Stop, That My Gamer One, That My Gamer Two, 
RTT, Ryan Tim Tech. So, got four different channels we're rocking. Alright, anyway though, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, what are you guys thinking? Uh, do you guys think this is awesome? Do you guys think it's stupid? Are you going to rock this yourself? Because I really think once you get everything set up and connected, the possibilities are endless. And there's nothing holding you back from being able to use this phone like an actual desktop. We're not talking about launchers no more. We're not bullcrapping launchers, okay? We're not talking about shells and cover-ups of the actual device, right? This is literally your PC. Right now, this is actually running Windows 10. This is not running Android. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.